Hello again fellow Beach Bum Traders. Today we want to quickly show you how to find ETFs to trade and how to use the ETF database to find more ETFs that you can trade of all different types uh, covering all different sectors, stocks, etc. and commodities, anything you want to. You'll see I'm on the ETFDB.com ETF database website and that's what we'll be looking at today. I'll leave a link to this uh, website in the description box below, but you can also always find a direct link to this ETF database on our homepage, which is beachbumptrading.com, bum without the U. If you scroll down and you go to the link section, you can see in the trading tools links, we have a direct link to the ETF database, so you can very quickly and easily uh, get to this ETF database anytime in the link section. Uh, in the tools links uh, on our Beach Bump Trading uh, homepage. So we hope that helps. So now let's look at uh, what all is available. How can we help find uh, more ETFs to trade, uh, long, short, etc., various sectors, indices, commodities, etc., using uh, the ETF database. Okay, if we just briefly review all the great resources that we can find on the ETF database website. Uh, I'll just quickly look at the various menu items that are available. Again, there are just tons of resources uh, regarding ETFs uh, on this ETF database uh, website. So you can see all the different channels, uh, all different topics, gold and silver, different areas. Uh, we really like the leveraged and inverse uh, ETF tools here on the ETF database. Uh, one of the reasons we like ETFs is particularly the inverse ETFs and the leveraged ETFs, is it gives us the opportunity to swing. Um, and you can go short using an ETF in a retirement account, whereas you cannot short directly short individual stocks in retirement accounts, but you can short using an ETF. Uh, you can short a commodity or a sector or an index uh, using an ETF that it is an inverse, which is shorting. Uh, that category. You can use those to short things um, in a uh, retirement account. So we can also see there's all kinds of different tools, screeners, countries, sector tools, categories, etc. And again, uh, you'll have this link. It's on our home page. It'll be in the description box below. So you can uh, explore this site in more detail. Uh, there's research available on various uh, topics, so you can research how to leverage ETFs work, how to inverse ETFs work. Uh, they have webcasts, uh, and they also have video and podcasts, so some, some educational training material on ETFs. So you can learn more about uh, how, to, how do ETFs work. It's a great way to find ETFs. In a second, we'll quickly uh, review some of the other sections on their homepage. And then we'll start digging into how to find uh, ETFs on a particular topic, a uh, particular commodity, particular types of leveraged inverse ETFs, etc. Okay, if we just quickly scroll down through their homepage, through the ETF database homepage, we can see some of the other sectors that are sections that are available. You can see some quick links to, to some of the same types of things that are in the menu items. So again, just another quick and easy way to get to the screener by geography, by type, by issuer. Uh, all, again, very helpful. Again, with all the popular ETFs by sector, you can by biotechs, commodities, gold, uh, etc. VTI is an individual total uh, market index, bonds, lithium, etc. So by category, uh, whatever the popular blockchain, etc. Uh, so just quick links to the very popular ones. Then content centers, again, this is more informational about these popular ETFs, the cheapest ones, the largest ones, etc., the most traded, most liquid ones, the best performing, uh, etc. So again, you know, whatever you're looking for, uh, there's, there's a great way to find this. And then there's all kinds of news. And then, you know, more content, uh, educational information, etc., and then again, more uh, just tons of articles, news, etc. So again, 
quick and easy from the home page you can get to these various things again i'll uh, you'll have the link in the description box below it's on our home page uh, you can explore this in, in more detail uh, at your leisure so we hope that helps okay here is the page within the etf database that lists all the leveraged equity etfs and there's just tons of information here I will also leave the direct link to this page in the description box below and or you can find it in the uh, main uh, menus in the ETF database. Uh, but just to quickly scan through all the different leveraged ETFs. Now, again, one of the reasons we like at leveraged ETFs is because they, uh, for a swing, they're going to provide more movement, uh, more range, etc. Uh, so for swing trading, uh, these leveraged ETFs are great. Uh, longer term investments, etc. They may not be what you want. Um, you may want to go with something that has a higher dividend, more stable, etc. Uh, also, you want to understand how these leveraged ETFs are composed, how they rebalance, so that you don't get surprised by a gap up, gap down. So it's important to understand them, but again, we like them for swing trading. They're great for day trading. Because again, you get more movement, more range, more risk reward. Uh, one of these days, maybe we'll talk about how we evaluate, uh, how we choose one in terms of the risk reward and the movement and uh, the potential. Uh, within this, uh, there's a nice block in here that uh, definitive list. You can see there's multiple tabs that explain things, and you can sort the list below uh, by various factors. So by default, you'll see it's in sorting by total assets. But we can also sort this list by returns. We can sort it by dividends. So if you're looking for ETFs that pay the highest dividends, uh, you can sort the list by dividends. And there's just tons of leveraged ETFs where we can see. You know, there's long and short in this list. So there's the long on the NASDAQ, the Qs. There's the long on semiconductors, um, QLD. Uh, again, there's long and short. There's the long on the... Um, S&P 500, uh, that's when you can use the long, S, uh, SPXU is the short, SQQQ is the short on the NASDAQ, FANGs, etc. So there's just pages and pages of leveraged ETFs. So uh, you, you can do a fine to look for uh, one that you're in particular looking for. You know, here's one that's uh, gold, junior miners gold. Uh, you can see there's, you know, pages and pages of these. So you can scan through them. Uh, looking for the one you want, you can sort it by the criteria that you want, as we showed you above. If you're looking for dividends, uh, lowest fees, expenses, etc. You can sort this list that way from this page, and then we'll also uh, later show you how to uh, search for a particular ETF in this database uh, for whatever commodity index sector or topic that you're looking for. So again. This is the list of all leveraged equity ETFs. I'll put this uh, direct link to this page in the description box below. And we hope this all helps. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, one of the reasons we really like ETFs is the ability to short various sectors, commodities, indices in a retirement account using an ETF, whereas you cannot uh, directly short individual stocks in a retirement account. So here is the page for Leverage 3x Inverse Short ETFs, and I'll put the direct link to this page also in the description box below. This is just part of the ETF database, and again, this is a list of leveraged inverse. So when they say an inverse ETF, that means that it's the opposite of the, the long, so it's typically a short. And we can see, uh, they'll give you a, a list, you know. This allows you to short. Here's indices. We can short, and we typically use these indices, these ETFs, to short the indices. So here's SQQQ to short the NASDAQ QQQ. Here's SPXU, uh, which is uh, the short on the S&P, the short on the SPY, uh, which we typically use to short the SPY. So this is how we would short indices is using these inverse uh, ETFs. So you can see the... Uh, Small caps, also these are often named bears, so you'll have a bear 3x or a bear 2x. And again, that's telling you that you're shorting the, the particular topic. As Dow, we use to short the, the Dow. It's uh, DIA is the 
a typical index. Uh, you can long DAO using UDAO, you can short DAO using SDAO. Uh, TTT, Treasuries, uh, SOX, Semiconductors, uh, the Russell, etc. So again, this is a great, there's the FANGs. Uh, we've used this to short the, you know, the FANG stocks, uh, Biotechs, okay, China. Uh, again, we, we typically use these ETFs. Here's emerging markets we recently added in our game plan. Um, again, great way if you're looking, if you're in a declining market in a bear market, and you're looking to short something, here's the list of uh, ETFs that you can use to short various topics. Uh, so again, I'll put this direct link also in the description box below so you can quickly reference it, or you can find this on the ETF database. Again, this is leverage. 3x inverse short ETF list. Okay, here's the ETF screener tool in the ETF database, and you can access that via the tools menu, ETF screener choice, or I believe there's a quick link on the home page of the ETF database. Uh, we can see now we, we have a list of ETFs, and we can filter those by all kinds of different asset classes, attributes issuers just tons of various screening criteria that you can use and again I'll let you explore this uh, at your leisure but just to show you the basics of how the CTF screener works how you can find a, a list of ETS or whatever topic commodity etc that you want to find uh, in this case let's look at just the commodities let's say I'm looking for ETFs on crude oil uh, so I can just select the commodity category under asset class and then I can select crude oil and now I can see a whole list of ETFs. I can sort it by different uh, criteria within this table. Again, nice, quick and easy tool. And then we can pick uh, an ETF that we want to trade uh, for oil. And we can see we've got both long and short uh, ETFs on oil in this case. So again, just a real quick uh, exploration of all the capabilities in the ETF screen. There, again, there's just tons of capabilities. You can explore these, uh, combine the various criteria uh, to fit your needs to get the list of ETFs that you're looking for uh, to you know, long or short or bull swing. Uh, any any topic, commodity, uh, etc. That you're looking for. So again. Uh, we use this a, a lot to be able to trade uh, various topics, themes, strategies, etc. So again, this is the ETF screener tool within the ETF database, which you can find under the tools menu. And also, I believe there's a quick link on the home page. So we hope that helps. So we hope this all helps give you an introduction to how to find ETFs to trade and how to use the ETF database. Again, you can find the link to the ETF database in the description box below and or you can quickly and easily access uh, the link to the ETF database at any time in the link section off of our homepage, Beach Bum Trading Bum Without the U, under the Tools, ETF Database. Again, anytime you can find that link uh, on our homepage. So again, we hope that this helps give you an overview of how to find ETFs to trade, how to use the ETF database. Uh, perhaps we could do more detail on some of the other tools and resources. Please let us know in the comments below if that's something that you would like. Would you like more detail in what areas, etc.? Uh, please again put that in the uh, comments below or and or in our Facebook group and let us know what you think of this video. Uh, what can we do to make it more helpful for you? How can we else can we help you uh, succeed in your trading career? And we hope that you will like this video. And if you're not a member of our Beachbook Trading Community already, we hope you'll choose to subscribe uh, to our YouTube uh, channel and share this with your fellow traders around the world. And click the notify bell icon so that you will be notified uh, whenever we release uh, future videos. So again, we hope that you like this. We hope you find it helpful. Please let us know. Please let us know how else uh, we can help you uh, with your ETF trading, how to use the ETF database. Would you like to see further, uh, more detailed videos in this area? Uh, just let us know. Again, we hope this all helps. Good luck and have a great trading week. The content of this video was produced by Beachbum Trading. 
We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at BeachBumTrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, bum without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. Thank you again for watching our video. We hope that you liked it. If so, please smash the like button. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. Please share this video with your fellow traders and friends. And please give us your feedback and any recommendations for improvement in the comment section below. And let us know what else we can do to help you in your trading career. Thank you again. Good luck and have a great trading day.